Hi, welcome back to the ABCs of Wellness. Today's word is breathe. It turns out that most of us aren't doing it correctly nowadays, which is kind of interesting since it is the main thing that we do that gives us life, it gives us oxygen. But I found a proverb that said that for breath is life and to do it well, you will live long on the earth. Well, if we're not breathing correctly, what are we doing that's causing us to not breathe correctly? And that's what I wanted to take a moment to talk about. Because we take breathing for granted, we do it subconsciously, so we don't realize that we actually can take time and change the way that we breathe. But two big factors have affected our breathing. One is the amount of stress. We're under a much higher stress load uh, than in the past. And when we are feeling stressed, we have a tendency to chest breathe or just raise the upper lungs. Um, and that is called clavicular breathing. And when we're doing that, it's, it's almost like we're panting and then we don't get enough oxygen, which causes us to feel more stressed. And then we continue to do the chest breathing. Another factor that I thought was really interesting is body image has affected the way we breathe because we all want to look slimmer so we walk around with our stomachs tucked in really hard and when we st suck our stomach in which may be good for the abdominal wall in general but it impacts our diaphragm and causes us not to be able to take a deep breath and breathe. So when we breathe properly and slowly you're going to breathe into your chest, you're gonna feel your chest expand, you're gonna feel your shoulders raise a little bit, but most importantly, you're actually going to have your belly expand. So I'm gonna put my hand on my diaphragm down here, and I want you to do the same, and I want you to take a deep breath in and make sure that your hand moves. So, in we go. Can you see how my hand moved a little bit there? That's because I was breathing in deeply enough to expand into the upper lobes of the lung, the lower lobes of the lung, and move the diaphragm. And when we breathe slowly like that also, we are stimulating the vagus nerve, which goes from the lower abdomen and intestinal area to the brain. And that's important because the vagus nerve helps us to calm down. It's part of the parasympathetic nervous system that just makes us a little calmer. And then the vagus nerve is also what transmits a lot of the neurochemicals that are made in our guts back to our brain. So there's been a lot of studies out there that show that breathing can help with your blood pressure. I had one client that he, he had a bit of a temper, he was a kind of fiery guy, redhead, and so one time he was getting really frustrated with something that was going on and I had taught him the breathing techniques and he did that and he had been monitoring his blood pressure and realized that his blood pressure was getting really high because he was being angry and frustrated. So he did the breathing exercises and then immediately took his blood pressure again about five minutes later and his blood pressure was significantly lower. So the proof is in the pudding. He proved it to himself that the breathing really did help. So it's important to understand that we need the oxygen and by breathing properly, that's going to help us oxygenate our brain, that's going to help us oxygenate our muscles, we're going to sleep better, we're going to feel better in general when we have more oxygen going to our tissues. So I wanted to just spend a moment talking about breathing and I'd like you to take some time and think about the way you breathe. If you're in a safe environment, a safe place where you're not driving or something like that, stop and put your hand on your upper abdomen and where, right below your rib cage and take some breaths and see if that moves and try to figure out how to change your breathing so that you do get those deep belly breaths. And the goal would be to breathe in for a couple of counts, hold for a moment that's comfortable, and then exhale for several counts. By doing this properly, you're going to help increase your oxygenation, you're gonna help calm yourself down. So think of it kind of as the, uh, maybe when you were told to count to 10 as a kid or something like that, anytime you're feeling stressed, and you want to calm yourself down, take a few minutes and do the breathing exercise. I challenge you to do it several times a day. I'm going to do some uh, videos in the future talking about some different methods of breathing, Wim Hof, some yoga breathing, box breathing, some of those other types of things until we go through some methods of breathing and hopefully you'll find one that kind of resonates with you and that you feel comfortable doing. So be well. 
And please share your thoughts on different types of breathing exercises and practices, whether it's yoga or qigong or something like that that you like to do. And let me know how that works for you. And we'll be doing some more videos on breathing in the future. Thanks and breathe well.